Hey friends, it's Becca with Beautiful Mess Plans. Um, today I'm going to set up February in my B6. Um, so I'm not going to, last week I set, last week, last month, I set up a little bit in my um, Archer and Olive, um, just kind of like prepped the, main, the, the front page, the cover page for January, but I'm not using my Archer and Olive for February. I'm using an Aura Style that's coming. Um, but it's not here yet, so I can't do that yet, which is fine. Um, there really wasn't as much there as setting up this for the month. So I thought we could go through and um, set up February. And this is a Planner Perfect B6 size. As you see, it's a very busy month. <laughs> I'm already tired. Um, so I'll show you February or January. So this is how I set up January. Um, nothing too crazy. I will have some extras for these pages to set up um, because my son has a birthday in February. So I guess we should just jump right into it. I need some white out. We'll just start up here. Wipe this out. I am, oh I should mention this. I am using the Coco Daisy kit for February. I always use Coco Daisy. Um, I do have, I've already opened everything and mixed it all up, so I can't really do an unboxing. And I have already kind of sort of mixed, <laughs> mixed it up with the Valentine's Day kit as well because I got the Valentine's Day stuff too. So I don't know which one's which. I will do my best if I notice something. Mostly it's going to just, oops, mostly it's just going to be out of the February, like the subscription that I get. Um, and for those that are wondering, I get the main planner kit, I get the planner add-on and I get, well, I get the pouch and then I get the, uh, Daisy sticker add-on. Um, so that's what, that's all the stuff I'll be using here. And then maybe some Valentine's stuff mix, mixed in, but mostly not. So it was birds, not my favorite. Um, oh, I'm going to mention real quick. I am also using, I pulled a mild liner. It is red. It's just a red one um, that I felt matched pretty well. Um, but anyways, not my favorite theme. I feel like Fe February's themes just in general are never my favorite because a lot of times they are birds. And I'm not a big bird person. We have, funny story, we have several birdhouses. My in-laws keep gifting us birdhouses. Um, so far, we have two hanging up but we have another two that can go up and my kids love to watch the birds. Like when we get fun birds come and my cat loves to watch the birds, but I'm not a big bird person. And sometimes like some birds are really cool that come, but I don't know. It's not, not really my thing. Um, we also have three birdhouses. Each of my kids builds a birdhouse, uh, a blue birdhouse. Um, no, they're not blue. They're four blue birds. I should say. Um, with my dad. Um, so they each have a birdhouse hanging up. And then we have bird feeders coming out of our ears. Um, but that's okay. It's just not my favorite theme. So, because birds are not my favorite. Um, but it does not matter that much. I am just obviously tracing over the uh, month with this just to kind of make it stand out more and match. I did it in January. I'll do it every month. And then I'll use this color to highlight the, um, the events. Um, but let's first put the dates on so that I'm pretty sure these are what I used. Yep, these are what I used before. the way that looks. I had some trouble with some of them. Um, Valentine's Day is a very, very busy day. There's a lot going on that day. So it was a matter of trying to fit everything in. Um, it's just kind of a busy, a lot of it is school related, truthfully. I had to wipe over. Oh, I don't want to mark that. That is, er, oh well, I can maybe fix that later with a white pen. Um, I will somehow have to do conferences somewhere in there 
because parentage conferences are coming up. So just busy, just a lot going on. And I'm pretty sure we're doing Connor's birthday party with my parents this day. Connor's party. That's going to drive me crazy, though. So let's see. I mean, there's going to be a little bit of a difference in the color here. But maybe if I just wipe it, you know, use a little white pen, it won't stand out quite as much. That will. Okay. That's fine. It's fine. Okay. Kind of looks Christmassy. <laughs> so let's see if we can uh, get it going a little bit more Valentine's day -y. Um, I've been really well prepared the last few weeks with only pulling out the stickers that I need. I did not do that this time. <laughs> so I'm trying to find my deco stuff. Um, and we have a bunch of die cuts in here and I might actually dig into the Valentine's Day stuff a little bit. Just to, I mean, the pencils could be kind of cute down here. I don't know. It's, I'm ha I think I'm going to struggle this month with this theme because it's just not, this is all the Valentine's Day kids stuff. It's not my favorite, but there's birds galore. So, you know, just is what it is this time around. Um, I don't know that I want to puff up my, this book with that though. Let's just pull this stuff out and maybe put these in. Hmm, maybe. I'll have to think about it. Um, so I have some lots of pens, lots of birds. I have a hard time making all of that match in my in my brain to how that goes together. But I mean I could just live it up with the bird theme and all of me loves all of you. Um, or add some, I feel like the pens though look real out of the blue with the birds, you know? I could put, okay, so this washi, I think this one actually came in the Valentine's Day kit. I have a couple, I have this washi, this came in the main planner kit, I think this came in the planner add-on, and then this one was in the main planner, or in the Valentine's Day. Um, which was an extra box we had to buy. Um, so maybe if I add some black and black and white in, feels a little bit less. I thought about down here, but then does it feel like too repetitive with what's going on up there? Let's put it down. We can always pull it back up, and then just put the bird. I feel like we need to balance it though. So if we put that there. I feel like we need to put something up here because there's washi heavy on this page. I don't know. I can't even see that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was thinking so hard that I wasn't even thinking about the fact that you couldn't see what I was doing. Um, let's just leave that. What do we think? Too washi heavy? I mean, if I put a quote here then maybe it won't feel so washy heavy. Oh, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out. I'm trying to figure out what. I mean, we could do. Okay, I'm trying to get this off, but it's not cut well. There we go. We could do like this here. And then the bird down here. I think no matter what I do, it's not going to be my favorite. So I just need to go with it and maybe it'll grow on me, you know, or maybe it just looks as bad and it is what it is. And it, it'll be a new month next month, which is a book theme. And I'm super pumped about it. Just, just in case you're wondering. I think 
we're just going to go with it. Maybe it'll grow on me or maybe next time you see this page, it'll look completely different. I don't know. What do we think? It feels really washy heavy. It's like, oh, I know. I know. I have an idea. Maybe it's a dumb idea, but we're going to try to pull this up. This washi up here feels so thick. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually split it. Because maybe it felt just too boxy for me. Maybe I like that a little bit better. And maybe we can find a little, not green. I think I have enough green. Um, is there a little, I mean, there's this orange guy. I was looking for maybe like a little black and white little, little fella, but I don't see a little black and white friend. Maybe, maybe, or would we like him over, oh, he's so small. I move that over. And put him right here. I know I'm like way overthinking this. Do I like it like that? We're gonna go with it. Because what I need to do is I just need to use up all the bird themes. <laughs> Use it up, just, just go with it this month and either it'll grow on me or it'll just be one of those like eh, months for me, but I used it because I had it. All right, we're gonna call it good, I think. I think we're just, I think it's just gonna be what it is. Okay, so then my next page is, well, I'll have a goals page, I don't have a waiting on page. So now I'm contemplating just continuing on because I had so much room left on this pages on using the same stamp, it's like a ton of stuff up here. Um, using the same stamp, but in a, obviously a color that matches. So let's go ahead and set down the washi. I am going to do an extra page for my son's birthday, but I am not going to do one for Valentine's Day. Um, I do want to ask, does anyone have any like special Valentine's Day traditions? I had to stop for a second and go grab my um, things I need to stamp out. So I'm going to use this script or this stamp. This is from um, a kit, a set from By the Well for God. Um, and then I'm using a distressed ink, uh, called barn door. So anyway, I was saying, does anyone have any Valentine's day traditions? Um, we do not. Well, okay. We do and we don't. We do in the sense of, um, every year we order heart shaped pizza from Papa John's, um, which is a funny, oops, I knocked something down. A funny tradition, but we are not like, let's get all dressed up, go out to eat kind of people. Um, we do have three kids, so doing stuff like that is, it's just hard to do. My parents will watch my kids if we ask, ask them, but I don't know, going out on Valentine's Day is just not our cup of tea. And we really just like to be home. So even when we have like date nights, it's like, let's just grab something and bring it back home. Um, the amount of times that we have eaten just like a uh, Texas roadhouse at home, that's just our style. We like to be home and comfy and yeah. So on Valentine's day, we don't really do anything special. We don't watch anything special. Um, but we do order pizza and, uh, I have been, um, and from Papa John's, they do like heart shaped pizzas. And I think that's really fun. And so that's kind of our tradition of Valentine's Day. Um, I also am not particularly, I don't love Valentine's Day. I will say that I love my sister, but, but having a sister with a birthday on Valentine's Day 
uh, kind of made things difficult growing up because we would always get to, on your birthday, you would get to choose on where to go out to eat. Well, she would want to go out to eat on her birthday. The problem with that is it's Valentine's Day and so does everybody else. So the wait times would be awful and she would get miserable and she would get upset and we'd end up settling it like McDonald's and it was just, you know, I love her to pieces, but it's just kind of made it so that it's like, well, this day kind of sucks. And I will admit that for a long time, um, I was single. I didn't date at all through high school. I didn't, I didn't really date much through college. Um, it was only after I left college that I started kind of like, oh, maybe I should look around and see what I can find, which is, I guess, I guess here's the, here's the story of how my husband and I met. Um, but at the time, it's like, how do you meet people when you have your job and it's a small job and it's not retail and it's like, I don't go out and I don't do, you know, how do you meet people? So I tried some of the online dating apps, um, Match com specifically and tried that met a few guys and kind of like eh, you know and then I was about to give it up I had actually just stopped paying for a subscription and just had like the free version where you could see people when in my daily five was this marine and it was one of his first pictures um and his little description thing made me laugh so hard that I sent him a message and um, and then I got a message back fairly quickly and I was like, oh, okay, but I have to pay for it. So I then get the, you know, I buy the subscription, I get the subscription again so that I can see the message. The message wasn't even back from him. Um, he hadn't sent me a message back because he didn't have it, the, he wasn't paying for it either, but then that my message prompted him to get it and then, you know, the rest is history. And now we've been together for, let's see, we just celebrated 11 years, 13 years. Um, I said that that was really weird. I said, we just celebrated 11, so 13 years. We've been, we were dating, we've been dating for, like known each other, been together for 13 years. We've been married for 11 years, I should say. So that's kind of, our story, I guess, of how we met. We met on an online dating app. Um, we met on match.com. Um, and yeah, and that was just kind of how that all happened. So nobody asked, but <laughs> I told you anyway um, on that. So I guess accidental story time. I'm not going to use this big stuff um, font for the my son's uh, birthday just because it's really big and I need some room to write. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip the page and I'm trying to think, do I want to do it on the bottom? I think I'll still do it on the bottom. Um, just to kind of make it all the same. And I don't know what I'm gonna use for this other page yet. We usually get the kids something, like a little stuffed animal or something for Valentine's Day. So I'll probably do that, but I don't really need to write anything down. Um, and I could do a memory page, but I don't really need that either because I have my memory book. So I think I'll just I could use these. So I'm looking for something maybe to go up in this corner because I didn't center it. Well, I thought I'd have enough room, but I didn't. I mean, I could, I guess, put this, put Connor seventh and then have the birthday. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. Or maybe I just pull it all up and center it. 
I'm thinking I'm going to put seventh and then I'll center his, um, I'll center birthday. So his birthday, funny story about his birthday. I'll tell you another story why I'm moving stickers. Um, he was born a week early. No, he, I was supposed to be induced with him. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. I was supposed to be induced with him. He was, um, when we scheduled his, um, my inducement, they scheduled it for February 29th. Didn't think anything of it. Okay, we moved on. And then it occurred to me that February 29th was leap day. <laughs> and I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> I don't, I don't know that I want to have a kid that has a birthday, you know, on leap day. I wonder if I can change that. Like, I don't want to be like picky about it, but it's, it's like, I don't know that I want to have a kid that's intentionally born on leap day. So I called back the doctor. I was like, listen, I don't want to be difficult. And maybe this is a dumb request and maybe, you know, maybe it is what it is and it'll be fine. But can we not schedule it on the 29th they're like oh I didn't even realize it yeah that's totally fine so we scheduled it actually for March 1st which is my dad's birthday um and then he chose to come on the 27th all on his own um but he was almost accidentally a leap a leap year a leap day baby but luckily I caught it <laughs> and he came on his own anyway so but he's turning seven this year so kind of crazy, not sure I'm ready for it. Um, for now, I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna leave this page blank. Um, like last month or this current month, I guess, I've been using it just to put like my little sticky notes and then I'll throw those away at the end. Um, but for now, I can't think of what I might need this for. Um, so I think I'm just gonna leave it blank. I was just glancing to see if there's anything I needed to No, but I don't think that there is that I'll need like, I don't know. I don't know. So I'm just going to leave it for now and then we'll go back. And um, so we have my monthly all set up. Still not sure how I feel about it. Yeah, don't know how I feel about it. We have my goals, which the red is kind of bright, but you can see a little bit of the bright red. You can't see it, but you can see a little bit of the bright red in the birds. I'm so bad today about maybe my camera's lower than normal. And then my, my son's birthday page, and then I'll leave it blank. So um, like I said, I'm not setting up um, the intro page on my daily weekly book because I don't have it yet. Um, and I'll decide if I want to put this somewhere. Also, I have a um, vellum that came in the kit that could be kind of cute somewhere too. So I don't know. I'll let you guys know if I decide to put this in. And maybe I'll try to remember if I do decide to put it in to show you guys how I do it um, on camera. But that's all I have. Um, kind of chatty, I guess. Um, and yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.